Good evening, YouTube. Got a parcel today. Parcel from banggood.com. Banggood.com. I've been sending me stuff for nearly a year now. This isn't the first soldering iron they sent me. But this is really cool. Where's the end of this? They have sent me this soldering station. There we go. I think we're winning. It's obviously relatively sensitive because it's all wrapped up. Ooh. KSG uh, T12 soldering station. There's a rotary encoder. There's a peel it off because you like to peel them off. 240 volt in the back. Soldering iron. Wow, this is like high temperature. High temperature plastic. Ooh, beautiful. Beautiful silicon rubber ho um silicon rubber end on it really really light really flexible multi pin connector with the do up so it can't come unplugged halfway through something critical line that up slide it in lock it off all right I'll just grab one of those cool it's got one right here. Computer PSUs, screens, things like that will run that kind of cord. No, I'd say uncommon one. So instead of sending me the wrong one, which has got a uh, European or American or whatever input, they sent me that one. Use only a 250 volt fuse. I'm assuming that means because the unit can take both. Okay, whoa, that's sharp. Woohoo! Soldering ship, soldering tip shape K. It's a lead free soldering tip. There you go. Good for the cancer state of California. Okay, well, one thing it is absent of is instructions, but that's okay. Because nothing to it but to do it. Let's have a look. Down there. Alright, well that was easy. So obviously you can buy a great deal of tips for these. I'll link all of that in the video description if you want one for yourself. And yes, I do get a uh, channel kickback, but this is not a paid review. If this is rubbish, you will hear about it right away. It's a review for... Uh, they, they send you the product out for free, so it's no, no expense to you. But if the product's rubbish, you'll hear about it. Like the antimatter charger. I ended up killing it. I told you. That's the way it rolls. Alright then, guys. Let's power this beast up and see what we see. So, with it sitting on flat on the bench, the back part, even with well, the cords actually holding it up, it still clears. So, it clears the bench, so you're not going to burn straight through anything. Let's fire it up for the first time and see what we see. when it wakes up. Alright. So it's showing that it's set to 350 degrees Celsius. It's in boost mode. It tells you the power it's feeding it in percentage on that top right hand side. It tells you the time. In terms of the temperature of the box, I'm guessing. 
So, let's just assume this is hot already. It's only been on for, what, 10 seconds? Whoa! 10 second heat up, if that. Straight to 350C. 351 say it's even better. Okay, so we can turn it to standby mode, which is 200C. 300C. Boost mode, which is... Alright, so we can set the temperature and manually adjust that. That's just like a preset. We'll call that 310. Bit hard to see because it's flashing. You put it in boost mode and it goes up to 350C and just sits there, so. No, oh, you're not going to be able to see the screen real awesome, but. So it's at 350 Celsius right now. As soon as it drops, it just shoots back up like a rocket again. No cooling it down. This is a cool little soldering station. So, oh, look at that. It's even. Knocking the camera around. It's even got a pivoting gland in the back of the iron. T12951 ESD safe. Electronic static discharge safe. That must mean it's isolated from me giving it a. Yeah, so you put it in standby and it drops right off to not cause you any issues. Alright, so I'm going to have to order some more accessories for this and revisit this in another video because I'm guaranteeing that there's a few different wands and stuff like that. I haven't really looked into it yet because I was kind of waiting for it to get here so I could have a play. But this is really cool. I just sense me touching it on something. Let this temperature drop again. I think it senses you'd move it. So it's in standby. As soon as you shake it around, it goes straight back up. Look at that. Ready? So it's in standby. That is cool. So you pick it up off the bench and it goes up to your set temperature. That is mighty cool, guys. The link to this beast is all in the video description. I do get a kickback. I'm going to use this. This is going to be my new soldering iron. Uh, this is just going to be the, the main the main base. Let's just turn him off there. I do also have the Milwaukee cordless one for on-site work. And I also have the little T, is it T10? The little pencil digital one. This is really cool. I'm going to use the life out of this for us. Uh, I have got a soldering project coming up with... Uh, some 18650 holders. This is going to come in real handy. Um, easy. Plug an AC cord in. You've got a, uh, about 6 or 800 mil super flexi cord. Comes out the other side of it. And it's really smart. Alright guys. This has been a review for banggood.com. Well, for me, but what for you guys. If you go and buy one of these, I do receive a little kickback as a commission. This is awesome. Really love it. Everything you need to know will be in the product in the video description down below. Click that and expand. Smack the subscribe button for both channels. And uh, there'll be more videos from reviews over here. There's a whole playlist of reviews. Everything that I've got from Banggood is in there. And uh, the good, the bad, the ugly is all there. Thanks heaps for watching. Catch you on the next video.